first cold startup of 2022 who's ready i know i am <laughs> I'm Chad, and welcome to Virtual Reality. I like to start my vlogs, or some of my vlogs, in Virtual Reality because it is a place where we can go fast. So without further ado, let us go fast. And back to reality. Corona still sounds good in 2022. And with that, I'd like to welcome you. It is the start of a new year. And being such, there are of course some things that I am really looking forward to doing this year that I am very excited to share with you all. So if you haven't checked out my 2021 year in review moto vlog, I'll put a card to it up here above. Quick little recap though. I started racing last year. I've been a track day enthusiast for a really long time and finally decided to take up club racing. I ran three rounds, made a lot of improvement over the course of the year, and I'm looking to carry on with that in 2022 and get even faster. <laughs> so beyond the racing, I actually did a lot of track days in preparation to go racing, and then continued to do a few afterwards. So that was a blast, a lot of track time in 2021. But I made a lot of videos with this bike too, just explaining how all of its various features and quirks work. Made some videos practicing wheelies on my WR250X in virtual reality, of course, and some workshop garage how-to stuff as well. So if you're looking for some additional motorcycling content to watch and you like the sound of my voice, check out the rest of my videos on my channel. Give them a like. I'd appreciate it. So anyways, now that we've recapped 2021, Let's talk about 2022 because I am super excited for this year. It is going to be a great one. So first, in continuing with my club racing, I am going to be doing a full round of racing. I will be racing in each of the four rounds of the CRA or California Road Race Association's 2022 championship in the amateur 600 classes. And Boy, do they have an exciting calendar. A lot of potholes from the rain. Round one is at Buttonwillow Raceway Park once again. Configuration 13 clockwise. Same configuration and direction that I ran during my first race weekend in 2021, which was a struggle, but I got through it. Learned a lot, but looking for some retribution there. That's in mid-February, so that's going to be here before we know it. After that, there's a bit of a gap in their season right now. The next round will be in June, the end of June, at WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca, formerly known as Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, or a track that they used to race MotoGP on. So Laguna Seca has been a bucket list track of mine for years now, and I'm super excited that I'm not just going to be riding on it, but I'm going to be racing on it. A little nervous for that, but super excited and really, really looking forward to it. It's going to be amazing. Round three will be at the end of July and at another racetrack I have never ridden at before, Willow Springs International Raceway, also world famous, I believe. We'll be doing the Big Willow configuration, which has some pretty fast corners, so that's going to be fun too. Then their season will round out back at Buttonwillow Raceway at the end of August, running the Configuration 26 counterclockwise. The direction in which I took podium finishes in both of my races at CRA Round 2 in 2021. Now, CRA was supposed to run exclusively on Buttonwillow's new track that they're working on building. Not really sure how much progress they've made on it, they had just broken ground and that was about it. The last time that I'd been there, which was how it was the first time I went to Button Willow ever in February of 2021. So 
material shortages and whatnot have plagued them, but hopefully, if they can get the track done sometime this year, there will be additional CRA rounds, and I will plan on racing those. But backing up in a little bit bigger picture, the goal here is just for me to improve and continue to get faster and more capable of handling a motorcycle. My lap times at both Button Willow Raceway and at Chuck Walla Valley Raceway dropped significantly from the start of 2021 to the end. Shaved nearly seven seconds off my best time at Chuck Walla, and that was just from going to Button Willow. I went to Chuck Walla once in January of 2021, and again to race in December, and just over the course of one practice day, which I only rode about half of because it was cold and windy, and a qualifying session, and two races, and a little bit of practice. Came down seven seconds. Button Willow is an even bigger improvement overall, just because I'd never been to the track before, so when I went for the first time in February, I was running well over a two minute, 10 second lap time. But just going month over month, shaved those times down and got under two minutes, both in the regular configuration 13 clockwise direction. Pause to check out the snow real quick on those mountains in the distance. Wow, it is truly beautiful where I live. Oh my goodness. Don't feel like the video is gonna truly convey that, but man, what an incredible view. But yes, big improvements. Looking forward to doing more racing, making more videos for you all to enjoy. See what it's like to be an amateur motorcycle racer. And just have some good times. We'll continue to work on my wheelies as well. So I don't know if I would call this the next thing I'm excited about or just that another component of all the racing and track riding, but outside of the racing, I'm really excited to ride some new racetracks this year. Obviously, we're going to be doing Laguna Seca, which is, I don't, I don't know how to describe that. I'm really excited for that. We're going to be doing Laguna Seca. We're going to be doing Big Willow. We're going to have practice track days ahead of each of those rounds. But... I really want to get out there and continue to explore additional racetracks. So I actually have a track day booked towards the end of this month at Auto Club Speedway. They're actually going to be demolishing and rebuilding it, is my understanding, later this year. So Auto Club, kind of a historical California racetrack. Figure it's probably in my best interest to at least go give it a try before they level it and maybe it'll be different. I don't know. But that's actually the closest racetrack to me. I just usually don't go there because it's very expensive. A track day there is like $100 more a day than Chuck Walla or Button Willow. Ooh, pretty green. Right there anyways. Hope we get some more green because it rained a lot the last couple weeks. And being in dry California, we could definitely use it. Nonetheless, still looking beautiful. But Auto Club's already on the books. I also want to explore some other racetracks. I'm also thinking about going to Spring Mountain at some point, which is in Nevada, just on the edge of the California border, but it's about four hours away from me. There's also quite a few tracks up in the Northern California area, the just in proximity to the Bay Area, if you're familiar with California geography. But there's Thunder Hill Raceway, there's Sonoma Raceway, of course Laguna Seca, which we're already going to check off our list in extraordinary fashion racing. So there's definitely more stuff to check out up there as well. So I'm not going to commit to anything other than the Auto Club Day that I have already signed up for and the CRA round, but it is something that is on my mind. So we'll just have to wait and see. Oh, that was a bigger one. <laughs> Got a little whiskey throttle there and also got on the rear brake a little early. Whew. Ooh, that was a good pop. Back to reality. Oh, this is beautiful. I think my virtual representation of this place will be quite good as well, but the reality. Oh, gorgeous. Amazing. 
now that we've talked about all the racetrack and club racing stuff, which as you can probably tell, I'm extremely excited about and looking forward to, another plan of mine is to try to do some bike reviews on motorcycles that are not mine. I've been looking into rented bikes from sites like Twisted Road and just doing my own freestyle reviews, maybe comparing you know, competitors of the Tuono to them, maybe the newest Tuono. So I've got some cool ideas there. But I will absolutely be reviewing at least a couple bikes this year that are not my Tawano WR250X or Daytona 675R. So keep an eye out for those. Coming soon to Hi I'm Chad's channel near you on the internet. So the final thing I'm excited for, and I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to document, if any at all, but a big goal of mine, and if you've been with the channel for a while, you've heard me talk about this, and I've definitely disappointed in this regard, but I really want to get in shape. I really want to be strong and at least fit so that I can be more capable on my bikes, whether I'm just road riding like this or out at the track racing. In an attempt to motivate myself to get into shape and start taking my health more seriously, I told myself that when I got to a point where I was in shape, for me specifically, I'm defining this as feeling strong, and I mean not like a bodybuilder strong, but just strong, respectably strong, and when I'm under 200 pounds, I will get myself a custom race suit. So some motivation there, trying to get that fire ignited beneath me, and I'm hoping that's gonna do the trick. Following my holiday consumption of yummy treats, I am now at 225. Not the heaviest I've ever been, but certainly not the lightest. Very far from the lightest, actually. I was under that 200 pound mark for a while, but that was like five plus years ago. So looking to get back there, feel good about myself and feel strong and confident, even more confident than I am now on the bikes. So that is another one of my big goals for 2022. That will pay dividends in the form of faster lap times and a more comfortable Chad and a better fitting race suit. Because I am six foot three and they do not really make off the shelf suits for me. My Dainese Masano 2D Air is a 56 and it's a little tight in the shoulders just because it doesn't have as much give with the airbag, but it's too short. Limits the amount of movement that I can have on the bike for sure. I still move around pretty well on it, but I definitely feel like it's a bit restrictive to me, especially if I go out for longer than seven or eight laps. That would be a positive thing really in all aspects. Those are the big things though. I'm sure there will be other videos that I make that are not specifically related to all of that stuff because as much as I wish I could go to the racetrack twice a week, that isn't realistic at this point. So I'll still be making videos on the Tuono talking about random stuff, probably motorcycles because I love motorcycles and you love motorcycles. So let's just talk about motorcycles. But 2022 is shaping up to be a great year so far even though we're only a few days into it. I'm really looking forward to continuing my adventure as an amateur club racer and just a motorcycling enthusiast in general, someone who's passionate about it. And I'm really excited to be bringing you all along for the ride with me. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a gentle little click of the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. My goal this year is to post at least two videos a week, so there will be some motorcycle stuff going on whether it be on my Tuono V4 factory, my Triumph Daytona 675R race bike, or my Yamaha WR250X Supermoto, which kind of going back to the track stuff, but I'm taking that to the kart track real soon. I've been working on it the past couple weeks. It's got some fresh tires on it. It's got a new clutch in it. A couple other things that I'd like to fix first, but we're getting there. So hey, maybe we will be going to the racetrack if, if you count a kart track as a racetrack, which I do because you can race there. But we might be going to the track a little bit more frequently than we did last year. Or a lot, we'll see. Drop a comment below. I've asked it on the last like three videos, but what are your plans for 2022? What are you hoping to achieve, motorcycling related or otherwise? Let me know, let's talk about it. Thanks again for watching. And I'll hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, later.